Hey everyone, welcome back to the layout. I uh, got a good amount of work done, uh, enough for a quick update here. So um, I guess we'll just go over a few parts that uh, I was able to get done over the past few weeks. So starting with this dry bulk unloading area, um, I wasn't sure whether to do uh, gravel or concrete. So I decided to go concrete and um, I put in the expansion joints the different joint lines. I just scribed it with a uh, the back of an X-Acto blade. Um, I used spackling. I just kind of um, trimmed it out with some basswood or balsa wood and then filled it in. Uh, did it a couple times. I did tint it with these um, artist pigments, just as a lamp black, just to give it a little bit of tone. Um, I do, I like to tint it because once you paint it, you're kind of, you know, it kind of gives it that one tone. Whereas if you tint it, it's already the color you want and then you could sand it and it doesn't change the, the color or anything like that. And it kind of gives a little bit of variety in the color. It's not just one solid painted slab. Um, I did go ahead and I filled in the lines, the joint lines, I just used a pencil. Um, I used some chalks to kind of replicate some the turning radius of the vehicle or the trucks pulling in. Nothing too crazy there. Um, I painted these lines, just kind of like a caution line there for that shows where the track is. I just masked it out and used um, a sponge dipped in some yellow paint. Um, what else? Added a few of my little snow piles there because I am modeling uh, winter or towards the end of winter. Uh, one thing that I was, I mentioned in my last video, or the last update, uh, the fence. So I was working originally on some Walther's um, posts, and I was going to order some brass fencing, and a lot of people recommended the um, Alcom, I believe it's pronounced. Um, his, he puts together an etched um, metal fencing kit. And I completely forgot about that. I, I'm using his, I just, I bought a few of his tie downs, his chain tie downs, and they're really nice, high quality stuff. So I went ahead and ordered a couple um, of these kits, and this is how they look. I, I ordered two, and to be honest, I mean, it's probably a little bit more expensive than the Walthers, but in my opinion, I think it looks, looks pretty good, and it's so easy to put down. You just pull them off the, off here, I painted them kind of, um, uh, I kind of used a flat uh, primer gray, and then I went in and with an airbrush and kind of rusted some of the middle sections of the fencing, which I've seen on a bunch of older fencing, you kind of see it rusting a bit. So you can see that over here, and you can kind of see it in certain angles, but I think it gives a really nice effect. Um, so yeah, this is almost done. I want to add a couple more details. I've got some signs that I'm, I'm making some caution signs here for the door, uh, for the gates. They do open and close. Um, and I'm making some light poles. Uh, that should light up this pad pretty nice. Um, so yeah, nice little simple scene. And I think it turned out pretty good. It's a place for, uh, I could use my dry bulk trailers. With this area here, I kind of wanted it to look overgrown Again, this is kind of an industrial area with some vegetation between, so it's not really gonna be taken care of. Um, so again, I'm using the Martin Wolberg grasses and um, tufts, bushes, blend them all together, and uh, this is what I got. I think it looks pretty decent here. Um, I do wanna do a little bit more static grass along the edge of the track, kind of a golder color, um, but I'll kind of layer that on top of that. Uh, for the static grasses, I think I'm using a Pico Winter Blend, and I've got a bunch of other smaller sample colors, and I just kind of blend them all together, and uh, this is how it turned out. Um, laid down the ballast, I use the Arizona Rock and Mineral. Uh, this is N scale, I think a CSX or Norfolk Southern Blend, I can't remember. Um, painted the rails uh, as well. I kind of went ahead and 
painted the ties a little bit, you can kind of see, kind of just give it a little bit more of a random look. Um, the main interchange track here in the back, I went with the HO uh, size ballast, just to make it look a little bit more mainline use. Um, and uh, painted the rails and, and ties. So you kind of see the difference between kind of the siding here or the spur for the um, dry bulk and the soon to be rail serve little office area and the interchange track. For Ferrara Foods, I went with more of a landscape manicured look somewhat for winter, I guess you could say. Uh, again, that building is, you know, really well kept. Um, they got really nice landscaping around the whole thing. So I just kind of did a little, the little area I had with some kind of manicured trees, some bushes that are now kind of dead for the winter. Um, yeah, I think that looks okay. Kind of helps kind of blend into the backdrop there. So for this section here, uh, kind of the paved or the, um, the gravel area is going to be uh, a small office building for a rail serve, kind of like a just a makeshift office for them. Uh, probably have some equipment here. I'm working on some kind of maintenance qu equipment, a service truck and so on, some pickup trucks and a few other things. So this will be kind of their little uh, office building. Um, Along the back, I'm still not sure what I want to do connecting the two buildings. I'm pretty sure I'm going to be expanding the green building across into here somehow. Uh, that's probably going to be after I do this front scene. I'll start working on that. As well as put in, I have one more piece um, uh, to make it the area blue there. I don't want to paint the wall, but I've got a thin piece of um, styrene that I'm going to paint the same color of the sky to help kind of hide that corner since the corners are pretty hard to hide, but that should look okay. All right, that's about all I've got um, on the layout. Sorry, it's not much, um, just a little bit of scenery, uh, but pretty happy with how things are turning out. Let me know what you guys think. Um, as far as the rest of the layout, like I mentioned, the little uh, rail serve office is probably gonna be next, the next project. Um, for the rest of the layout, not really much going on, not really more much left to do. A few little scenery details, some lighting I want to do, and uh, that's about it. So, um, then starting to do a little bit of switching, so a little bit of operations again, kind of getting back into the groove, um, getting this thing running. I know you guys haven't really seen it since, uh, my last video where I uh, finished the this locomotive, but it's running great. I finally got it all adjusted and, and uh, the proper sounds and everything in it. So really nice. I'm really happy with the way that turned out. Um, probably within the next couple weeks, I'll have another video, a couple more videos over here. Excuse the mess. So I recently joined um, a club nearby, which has been awesome. Um, kind of bring what you want to run a lot of track a lot of great guys there a lot of awesome models um, so I'm having a blast I'm actually getting a lot of stuff out of the display case and actually running it so a lot of fun finally running my um, excursion cars so I've got uh, 844 there ran that for the first time uh, new Broadway Limited in my blue comet which is my favorite locomotive right there. Um, still got to get the cars for it or find some cars for it. But that thing's just beautiful. Um, I'll show you guys that in the future. But uh, that runs great, sounds great. Uh, a few weathering projects. Have a video on that shortly. Uh, that came out awesome as well. And some vehicles. Uh, so a lot of stuff coming. Um, I just wanted to make this one about the layout uh, since I'm pretty happy. I'm um, pretty proud of how it's turning out, so. Um, anyway, guys, uh, maybe another video next week or so um, on a few other things. But until then, thanks for watching.